Hi, welcome to the Shelly Studio. Today I'm working on my 100 day project. I'm a little bit over halfway. This is day 61. And this picture is from Death Valley. And um, it's a picture of the charcoal kilns. I think they're called the Wild Rose Charcoal Kilns. And um, they were built around 1877. So they're like been standing for a long time. They're uh, masonry, like I think they're brick. Anyway, they're for creating charcoal for the local mining operations or were past tense. I have no idea why you would need charcoal for mining, but yeah, that's what they were. <laughs> So I'm making little domes to try and look like the little beehive shape that they were. And, uh, yeah, gluing them on there. So how's everyone doing today? I hope you're all well. It's a nice, the day I'm doing this voiceover, it's a nice sunny Saturday. I can hear people outside playing in the backyard. <laughs> Once I get this voice over down, I might have to go out and explore. So Death Valley is pretty dry, so um, I just did a little bit of my kind of brownish rice paper at the bottom. There was a little bit of greenery, so I'm sticking on some bits of green to look like little bushes. Like I don't know that much about the charcoal kilns or I'd give you more information. <laughs> but yeah, you can see them right by the road. There's the you don't have to hike to them or anything. Oh, I got it now. So, I looked it up. The charcoal product was transported by pack animal and wagons to be used in smelters for the lead silver mines. So, I guess it was to help separate the silver. Of course, got to use my stabilo, create some shading. I think that makes all the difference. What do you think? There it is. So this next one, day 62, is supposed to be Artist Point in um, Yellowstone. So it's kind of an overlook. Um, they call it the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone, but um, I've always just known it as Artist Point. And it's got a couple of waterfalls, and it's not... It's usually pretty green. It's not this orange, but <laughs> I had this great piece of orange that just had the right kind of patterns going on it that I liked that looked like they might be greenery. Um, so I decided to use that as my canyon. And since it's Artist Point, you know, it looks very painterly, right? <laughs> The, the cliffs there are a little bit more sandy colored than red, but we can pretend it's sunset or something. <laughs> right? Artistic license. Use our imagination. Trying to add the shading to make it look like 
cliffs, I guess. And greenery. There's two layers of cliffs there. I was trying to create the shading and put the greenery in there so you could so it would look like that. And then I just decided the sky area would just be more forest. I'm trying to add a little blue. Because it's a river running through there and then there's two falls that fall. But you only see the one in my picture. Trying to make it look like the foam spray there, the white. I haven't asked this video. Is anybody doing the 100 day project? Did you make it through? Are you done? Hopefully. Um, I get this up soon. <laughs> the day I'm doing the voiceover for this is day 69. I still have a whole bunch of videos that I've already done for the 100 day project. I'm, I'm trying not to upload them every single day <laughs> to get caught up. But um, yeah, I've got quite a few. Uh, I thought that yellow might help it a little bit. <laughs> Alright, so this next one, I think this one's kind of quick. This one is, um, okay, the animal, is a, I wrote it down, I can't even read my own handwriting. Gems, Gemsbach? But I, when I posted it on Instagram, somebody said it looked like, um, Billy Goat's Gruff. So we'll go with that. But this is Natural Bridge Wildlife Ranch, ranch in, in Texas. And um, there was a Gemsbach up next to this interesting tree. So I decided <laughs> that was going to be my landscape today. And it was kind of a hill, so there wasn't a lot of background, which... I decided to use text for the background, which I always find that interesting. I did stick it upside down. I'm not sure if I did that on purpose. Um, so that you wouldn't read it as much, though I don't think that stops people from reading it, putting it upside down. <laughs> it does kind of look like a goat, doesn't it? Ready to whack you with his horns. I do add a little bit of light um, color to the the animal, and I think it makes it even look more like a goat. But it looks so dark and strange, <laughs> like it's got this like strange posture. But it was the angle of the picture, well, and the fact that you know I'm not well practiced in animals. <laughs> so that was day sixty three. Um, Day 64 is, um, this one is just an imaginary landscape. And I'm, you know, like I said, I'm on day, I did day 69. And, um, I'm running out of pictures that I want to do. So I might do a bunch more imaginary landscapes. And they, I don't know if they'll be this simple. So I had this great piece of book text that I had tested paint on. So I used it as the mountain and um, yeah, just a little bit of, I don't even know if that's, I think that's yellowish scrap paper for the ground. It makes it very fall-like. And then I just put a few trees in there. And 
and just let the fun painted papers do their thing. Add a little, a little bit of shadow. And that's, that's pretty much it. I think I go in with a pen a little bit to get some tree trunks going. But real quick and real simple, but I like it. What do you think? You'll have to tell me which one of these is your favorite. I have a couple more. I'm trying to get as many in it one video as possible. But um, there's that one. Imaginary landscape. Now this next one, I think I've sped it up a little bit more. This has a little bit more piecing to it. This one is Stonehenge. And this is day 65. So I'm using, am I using the same sky material? I think I am, as the last one. And I took all these little bits of paper and tore them up, hoping that they will look like Stonehenge when I'm done. And this one benefits a lot from, um, the Stabilo <laughs> to make it look more like stones. The um, dimensions are probably off, but uh, I was trying to make it look like it was far away, but it's really hard to do little teeny pieces of paper. My fingers are not designed for that. <laughs> my Stonehenge goes off the page. There's some rocks that are balancing on top. There we go. I'm just adding my shading, trying to make them look like rocks. Or stones. I guess if they're big, they're stones. I don't know. Big stones. I decide my sky needs to be a little bit more moody. So I'm just adding some dark in there. Um, I should remember to silence my phone when I'm doing a voiceover. <laughs> and then just adding a little bit of white highlight with my jelly roll pen. I like my Stonehenge, what do you think? I go in too with a little black pen and create some little figures. Those are supposed to be people walking around the stones. Because my picture was full of tourists. <laughs> Alright, I have one more. This is day 66. And this is um, going to be Mendenhall Glacier in Alaska. Again, another piece of that same color. I found some blue, so I'm using it. <laughs> And, yeah, my papers aren't in square. <laughs> and, and, yeah, this one is really not squared off very well. But there's my mountain. And there's the glacier. 
And of course, there's always bits that have broken off floating in the water. I didn't want to represent all of them, so I just put a couple, or a few, three. Three little pieces of glacier ice. <laughs> But I hope you're enjoying this series. Um, I feel like when I do a series of the same thing over and over again, I don't get as many views. So if you are viewing this and you like it, please hit like or comment or something. <laughs> if you do want to see the other ones, there will be a link to the 100 Day Project playlist in the description box below. And, you know, if you like what you're seeing subscribe and you can hit that bell notification and get reminded of any future videos that I put up. I've still got several more days left to go <laughs> on my 100 day project. Okay, so now I'm taking my white paint pen and adding snow because that mountain was covered with snow. <laughs> This picture was taken in June, and it was an unusually warm June, even for Alaska. But, and I think we got all got a bit sunburned, actually, that day. But, um, there's still, the mountain was covered with snow. I'm trying to get my paint pen to work. I probably could have used an even bigger one than the one I'm using. Or actually put some paint on there. <laughs> no, I think this works. I think it looks like what the kind of what the snow on the mountain looked like, kind of, sort of. There we go, Mendenhall Glacier. I hope you liked that. Thank you all for watching. Have an awesome day.